Alienware and Razer have been duking it out in the compact gaming laptop market for a good few years. The X14 and Blade 14, locked in combat for the rights to claim to be the thinnest, the lightest, the most powerful, and the most visually arresting. Now we have a new Alienware X14 built around Intel's Alder Lake series 12th gen CPUs, and it's going for the throat of Razer's AMD Ryzen 9 powered Blade 14. The Alienware X14 is not only smaller than its stablemates, but looks superb too thanks to an eye-catching monochrome appearance, proving bolder than the black Razer and mature Aces. Alienware's repairs great appearance with impressive build quality. This is a reassuringly robust laptop, and it's only 14.5mm thick, slimmer than both rivals in any 15.6-inch notebook. I'd happily throw the Alienware in my bag, it wouldn't weigh me down, nor would I be concerned about causing damage. The Alienware X14 appearance isn't flawless, though. This laptop may be slimmer than both of its competitors, but its 1.79 kilograms makes it heavier, and the 263 millimeters depth means it's deeper, too. So while the X14 is robust and slim, the Razer and Asus laptops are arguably more compact. As with other current Alienware models, the X14's ports sit along the laptop's back edge. There are two Thunderbolt 4 ports with power delivery and display port, a future-proofed HDMI 2.1 socket, and a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C socket, alongside a full-size USB 3.2 Gen 1 port and microSD slot. On the inside you'll find dual-band Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2. The X14 doesn't feature wired internet or a fingerprint reader, but it does include a webcam that supports Windows Hello. The X14 speakers are loud, but quality is lacking as a result of muddy output. I'd factor a headset into your laptop budget. The X14's keyboard offers 1.2mm of travel, extra media keys and a fast crisp action that makes up for the shallow buttons. It's got an N key rollover, but only single zone RGB LEDs. The extra buttons and the snappier typing action mean a more satisfying experience than the Razer, and this keyboard is just as good as the Asus's typing unit. The trackpad is small and a bit stiff, and the wrist rest is narrow. Anyone who wants to play games no matter what genre should use USB mouse, and check out our best gaming mice guide. There's only one display option on the X14, an OnTouch 1920x1080 resolution panel that runs at 144Hz, but for a 14-inch gaming laptop, that's plenty. With a pixel density of 157 dpi, everything looks sharp and crisp. In fact, the panel doesn't have a weak spot. It's bright, maxing out at 450 candela per square meter, and the contrast ratio is good at 1308 by 1. There are no issues with colors, either, with the panel capable of reproducing 102% of the DCI-P3 color gamut. Like the larger Alienware laptops, the X14 comes with NVIDIA's advanced Optimus tech, which negates the need for a conventional MUX switch, and allows you to set video output directly from the NVIDIA GPU without needing to reboot Windows. Apart from boosting frame rates in games, this also lets you get the best from NVIDIA's G-Sync by synchronizing display refresh rates and eliminating screen tearing and display stutter. It all makes for a satisfyingly smooth and colorful gaming experience. The speaker system throws out plenty of volume, too. At a 1 meter distance, I recorded an average of 75 decibels from a pink noise source and peaks of 83 decibels from a music source, which is identical to what I recorded from the much larger Alienware X17 R2. The difference is that the X14 speakers just don't generate the same level of bass. On a more positive note, the speakers produce plenty of detail. The Alienware X14's NVIDIA Jeffers RTX 3060 offers 6 GB of memory and 3840 stream processors. And in this laptop, it has a power range that runs between 60 and 75 watt. That's modest considering the GPU can peak at 115 watt, but it's no surprise given the size of the notebook. The Core i7 to 12700H has 6 hyper-threaded performance cores with a peak boost speed of 4.7 GHz, rounding out the internals with 16 GB of DDR5 memory and a 512 gigs PCIe 4.0 SSD, delivering top-notch read and write speeds of 6766 megabyte per second and 4810 MB per second to ensure loading screens don't outstay their welcome. The Alienware X14 zipped through Horizon Zero Dawn's ultimate settings at 77 FPS, and it played Borderlands 3 at 63 FPS. You'll have to make graphical compromises only in the toughest ray trace titles, and most games will run at a smooth 60 FPS. The X14's 262 FPS result in Rainbow Six Siege goes far beyond the display's 144Hz refresh rate, so it will be able to handle any expert's title. In the 3 Mark Time Spy benchmark, the X14 scored 7760, which easily outpaced the RTX 3060 in the older Zephyrus G14. Now, though, the updated Asus uses an AMD Radeon RX 6700s. 
And while that GPU doesn't support ray tracing, it has a 100W TDP, and scores around 8400 points in Time Spy, so it has greater graphical power. The blade will be a bit quicker, too, thanks to a 90 to 100W TDP range on its own RTX 3060. Switching to the X14's overclocked mode didn't improve performance, and the Alienware's modest RTX 3060 means you don't really have the power to output to the 8K or 120Hz displays, supported by HDMI 2.1, unless you want to run on-demanding games. This sounds negative, but the X14 still delivers ample power for mainstream gaming, happily tackling any big-name title. The Alienware's slower GPU highlights how this machine diverges from rivals alongside the RTX 3060. The X14 is available with cheaper RTX 3050 and RTX 3050 T cores and Core i5 processors, while the Razer scales upwards with the RTX 3070 T and RTX 3080 T, and the Asus deploys the Radeon RX 6800s. Not surprisingly, though, the compact X14 offers mixed thermal performance. There's noticeable fan noise when gaming, and the X14 was louder than the Razer, but a headset takes care of the noise, and the X14 was quieter during work situations. And while the Alienware's exterior became warm while gaming, the Razer was far hotter. Battery life, on the other hand, is sadly typical for an Alienware machine, lasting only 5 hours and 1 minute in our video rundown test despite the Nvidia GPU being turned off, and only the Intel integrated graphics processor on duty. How Alienware gets so little from an 80 watt hours battery when Razer can get so much more from a 61.6 watt hours battery can't just beat the efficiency of the Ryzen 9 CPU in the Blade 14. Of course, if you plan on gaming on battery power, neither machine will keep going for more than 90 minutes, which does put the whole idea of mobile gaming into context. The Alienware X14 is the slimmest gaming laptop in the world, and inside its thin, robust and good-looking appearance, you'll find decent gaming power, a fantastic CPU and a great screen. That said, you should hunt elsewhere if you want even more gaming ability or lengthier battery life, but be prepared to pay for it. Thank you for watching this video, I hope this video was useful for you, have a nice day and see you soon.